Uh, what a beautiful day in Brookhaven, boys. And yo, what the heck? Two horses just flew past me. Uh, were those some kind of horse racers? Whoa, <laughs> bro, bro, bro. I'm so confused right now. I'm not gonna lie, though. They look pretty sick. I can't really see them from here, but I see them kind of all the way down there. I'm not gonna lie. I wanna go talk to them. All right, let me see if I can ask what they're up to. They might be busy, so if they are, it's fine. But it's always worth a shot asking. And yo, I think they are. They have their own custom horses. And they're saying it's all practice. And she's saying Zobra ate too much today. LOL, talking about her horse. Uh, I'm gonna say, excuse me, guys. And this dude said, oh, hello there. And this girl said, oh, hi. Uh, I'm gonna say, are you guys horse racers? I mean, they kind of look like it, to be honest. They have, like, these cool little outfits on, too. I mean, they kind of look like it, to be honest. And he said, yes, we are. And she said, yup. Bro, I knew it. They even have these, like, outfits on that look like horse racers. Or I don't even know what a horse racer would wear, but it, it kind of looks like it. He said, can we help you? I said, oh, uh, I just thought it looked really cool. And the girl said, oh, thank you. And the guy said, oh, okay. I was wondering, actually, how does one become a horse racer? And the girl said, everyone can be what they want, lol. And the guy said, well, first step is you need a horse. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah, I don't have one of those. <laughs> and the guy said, to be honest, it's not for everyone. I don't know if someone like you could do it. Bro, what? What makes you say that? Are you doubting me right now, bro? He said, just saying the truth. Yo, what is this guy's problem? She said, don't listen to him. Who even is this guy? Is he good? And she said, he's just like that. She said, do you even have money to buy a horse? Uh, probably not, to be honest. He said, I'm the number one horse racer in the world. Oh, dang, bro, this guy is good. He said, been racing since I could get up on the saddle. And the girl said, you know I lost because my horse had an injury. Don't become too happy, Xavier. All right, that's it. This guy's just down to me, bro, and I don't like it. And he said, anyways, we should be going. Come on, Juliet. Good luck on getting a horse. And this guy said, good luck, guy. And he said, you'll need it. Bro, that guy was so rude. What's his problem, man? I thought it was cool being a horse racer. I mean, I still think it is, but why does it have to be so rude about it? All right, you know what? I know honestly nothing about horse racing, but I want to become a horse racer, and I want to be the best. Let me take down my beach supplies really quick, and we're headed to the stable. I don't know how much a horse costs or if I can even afford one, but I don't care. I'm buying one. And alrighty, boys, here we are. This is the Brookhaven Stables. And yo, there's someone here, some guy named Leo. And oh, I think he's getting water for his horse right now. Aw. I'm gonna say hello, sir. Hopefully this guy's not as mean as the other guy. And he said, hey, how can I help you? I said, oh, well, I was just wondering if I was interested, how would I get into the sport of horse racing? And he said, uh, uh sir, hello, you're just looking at me? <laughs> uh, it took me a while to type. And he said, oh. He said, well, you'll need to know basic stuff about horse riding, then a lot of training. He said, and being able to control your horse when it's running too fast. Obviously, you'll need a good grip for that. Okay, I said, well, do you have any horses for sale? I'm probably gonna need to buy one, to be honest. He said, uh, no. I don't sell horses, lol. <laughs> I just take care of them and train them. Oh. Well, I know this sounds crazy, but is there any way you could teach me to become a horse racer? I don't even know why I'm asking him, to be honest, but he's the only guy that seems actually nice when it comes to these horse racing stuff. Besides that other girl, she seemed nice, too. He said, oh, hmm. Yeah, I can. Wait, really? He said, I used to be a horse racer back then. Haha. -ha. Let's go. I won't let you down. Trust me, I'll be training hard. And he said, well, luckily for you, my friend, I have a horse you can train on as well. Perfect. And I was going to him right now. And oh, look at the horse, bro. He said, meet Tundra fastest Arabian horse in town. Whoa. He's beautiful. He's all white with the black mane. He looks so cool. Let me pull him out for you and I'll teach you how to ride him and everything you need to know. Okay, sounds good. And yo, what the heck? That thing is fast. Oh my gosh. And dang, he's so tall, bro. He's taller than me. <laughs> he said, have you ever ridden a horse before? Uh, no. <laughs> Not once, to be honest. He said, I see. Try to ride him right now and see how it feels like. Uh, uh, all right, here we go. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, but all right, let's try this thing right now. And no, I'm on. Hold on, this isn't that bad at all. Oh, <laughs> this is sick. I can ride him. He's really fast, too. He said, how does it feel? Good? Yeah, it feels great. Tundra is super fast. I can already tell. He said, perfect. And he said, yeah, Arabian horses are the fastest. Let's try some jumps now. Come here. Oh, uh, okay. Yo, we're about to do some jumps. Oh, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Tundra, you got this, buddy. All right, let's try it. And he said, try jumping with Tundra over these fences. All right, I got this. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and jump. Whoa. He jumped so high. Boing. Boing. 
Bro, this is so sick. Let me go backwards. And ah, uh, this is amazing. I just get to glide over these things with the horse. Wow, he's great. Then he said, perfect. He said, follow me now. Uh, okay. Get inside. Oh, okay. It's like a little covered area. This is nice. Now what? He said, try running in circles nonstop. I'll tell you when to stop. It's important you learn how to control the horse. All right, that makes sense. Here we go. Hey, I'm doing it, I think. I'm going in circles. It's not really much of a circle because it's kind of like a, a rectangle, but I think this is good. I'll try more of a circular motion now. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and... Yo, this is kind of hard, not gonna lie. <laughs> this horse is not that turnable. I mean, it kind of is, but circles, I feel like, are not its, like, thing. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm definitely gonna need to practice this, boys. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna say, how was that? He said, good. And he said, now let's give Tundra some water. Follow me. Definitely need practice, by the way. <laughs> and he said, horses need a lot of water, so make sure to give them water when they need it. All right, that makes sense. And he said, that was pretty well for your first day. Oh, it's over? And he said, yeah. <laughs> but wait, uh, when do I get to do an actual race? He said, actual race? Haha. Uh -huh. He said, there is one coming up soon, but I don't think you're ready for it yet. No, I swear I am. Anyway, what the heck? Who is this? Oh, it's, uh, Xavier again. And he just said, well, well, well. Look who it is. Oh, hey, Xavier. I've been training, as you can see. <laughs> and he said, yeah, I see that. And he said, OMG, not you again. Xavier, just go away. Wait, what? Leo doesn't like him or something? And he said, whatever. He said, your ego's too high for someone who won by luck. Leave, buddy. And then he said, just know, if you're doing the race tomorrow, you're not winning. And it wasn't luck. Wait, what? The race is tomorrow? It was skill and you know it. I said, hey, be nice to Leo. Bro, what the heck is this guy's problem? He's so rude. And then he said, whatever, I'm not gonna argue with you lowlifers anyways. And Leo said, when the other horse fell and you didn't care and went to the finish line, I bet that was skill. The other horse fell? Bro, I didn't even know this story. I don't know what happened. And he said, whatever, stupid kid. But wait, hold on. Leo, the race is tomorrow? And he said, yeah. That's why I said, you're not ready. No, I am ready. And he said, it's too soon for you. Look, I'm a fast learner. I can do it. He said, eh, I don't know, kid. I don't want you or Tundra injured. It'll be fine. Trust me. He said, you don't even know the route, kid. You've never done a race before. Uh, I said, well, that is true, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> I always do. And he said, hmm. He says, you really think you're ready to compete in a race that's tomorrow with some of the best racers in the world? Uh, <laughs> yes. He said, you know what? No risk, no fun. Let's do it. I'll teach you the route. <gasps> yes. He said, stay here. Uh, okay, 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 I will. Oh my goodness, boys. I got to do a race. Okay, not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm gonna win if I'm being honest. I've never done a race in my entire life. But if I do do a race, that means I complete my goal of becoming a horse racer. And where did he go? Oh, there he is. He said, hello. And yo, he has his own horse. That looks sick, Blaze. And he said, time to teach you the route. Follow me. All right. He said, it starts here and ends here. Okay, I see. Brookhaven Stables. All right, that makes sense. He said, now follow me, and I'll show you the full route right now. All right, here we go. And yo, we're going. Ah, I feel so good to be galloping on the horse, boys. I love this. To be honest, guys, I never realized I liked horses so much. And you know, I'm kind of falling behind right now. But all right, I guess the main part of the race is behind this mountain. You follow the trail. That makes sense. Seems pretty cool so far. And wow, it's so beautiful out here. And uh, I love Tundra. He's the best horse ever. And he said, then to the city. Okay, we made it past like the, the mountain part. So I guess we go now th through the city. That's kind of cool, actually. And yo, this is so sick. You can ride horses anywhere. He said, keep going till you see the park, then turn left. So like right here, I think. And oh, yeah, turn left. And then it's dead ahead, the Brookhaven Stables. And he said, there's the finish line. And all right, cool. That makes sense. I mean, I wasn't really racing that time. I was just kind of cruising. But and he said, it always has two laps. So first lap, don't come here, go to the start line immediately and repeat the route. Okay, that's interesting. All right, gotcha. He said, now let's give the horses some water. Oh my goodness, bro. I'm actually gonna race tomorrow. Let me hop off my horse now, though. He said, you think you're ready? The race is tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm as ready as I'll ever be, I guess. <laughs> and he said, good. Meet me back here at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Good luck, kid. Oh my goodness. All right, see you then. Boys, I'm scared. Alrighty, boys. Well, it's a big day tomorrow, so it's time to get some sleep. Whether I win or I lose, as long as I give it my all, I'll be happy. Wish me luck, guys. Good night. And ugh, it's the next day. I'm so tired, but I'm ready. I'm gonna grab some breakfast downstairs. An apple will do. Anyways, it's time to get headed there, boys. It's a big day today. Already, boys, and I'm here. And yo, they're already here. They're getting ready. Leo, I'm here, sir. 
He says, hello. And then he said, Tundra's ready and well fed. Oh my goodness, Tundra. We're going to win this race together, buddy. Don't let me down here. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, Now what? And he said, go over some jumps and the race will start in a few minutes. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, boys. I'm so nervous. It's all right. Tundra's not going to let me down. Tundra is a goat, okay? All right, come on. Let's make these jumps, baby. Woo! Look at that. He just glides in the wind. It jumps right over these things like it's nothing. Boys, we're going to be just fine. I already know. Ah. And he said, all right, guys, line up. And Xavier said, it's time. Oh, gosh. The race is like usual. Two laps, same route. No cheating. Okay, I figured. He said, we were watching all of you. Now go to the starting line. Oh, my goodness, boy. This is big. This is big. All right, I am fully ready. There's three of us. Julian, Xavier, and they have their horses. And, bro, why is this Xavier? dude saying ha ha and he said good luck tap i'm gonna say thanks dot dot and she said oh hey tappy you made it good luck with your first race i'm gonna say thanks but all righty here we go he said ready yes i'm ready oh gosh ready set go <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gone. Oh, and no, me and Xavier are off to the lead. I don't know where Juliet's at right now. She's way far in the back. Oh my goodness. What happened to her horse? She got a bad start, but oh, I'm in second place right now, bro. This is not good. I want to win. I want to win. Why is Xavier so fast? Oh my gosh. And there's two laps of this. Okay, okay. What can I do, boys? How can I stop him? How can I get him to slow down? All right, look. You know what? I'm not going to think too hard about it. I'm going to keep going. Slow and steady wins the race, boys. Slow and steady wins the race. And Juliet is still nowhere to be found. I don't really want to look behind me because I don't want to lose track of Xavier. <laughs> so I'm going to just keep going. All right. And once we hit here, we go left. Come on. Three, two, one. Left. And bro, I'm right on his tail, bro. My horse's face is like almost in his horse's butt. <laughs> come on. I'm right on him, bro. I'm right on him. Turn left here. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm gaining on him, boys. I'm gaining on him. Look. <laughs> you won't win this, Xavier. You won't win this. <laughs> And yeah, what happened to her horse? I don't even know, but she stopped. All right, lap two, boys. Last lap right now is lap two of two. And oh, uh, look at him. We're neck and neck. I'm sorry, buddy, but my horse is winning. <laughs> I know he's so mad right now, too. He's probably thinking, how is this new beating me? Or almost beating him. And bro, come on. Our horse is both at the same speed right now. Tundra, I know you can't hear me, but you got this, buddy. Keep pushing. And yes, yes, I'm technically ahead right now. I am technically ahead i'm in technically in first place all right just gotta keep moving and keep pushing boys oh my gosh there's not much room for error here at all though i'm taking a bite of my apple and come on keep pushing keep pushing all right almost the city part turn left and yo i have some good speed on him right now boys i am almost in full length ahead of him and yo i am his horse's head is behind mine all right let's keep moving let's keep moving come on pushing forward and and left and pro he got the corner bro no way no way and come on come on i'm right there let's go <laughs> Woo! i did it and he said dang it what the heck and leo said tappy one and yo, he just said, stupid horse. Hey, don't yell at your horse. He said, what's wrong with you, Oreo? Shut up. Oh my gosh, what's this guy's problem? Dang, he's mad. He said, you failed me. And Leo said, mad as usual. Told you it's luck, not skills. He said, I'm taking you to the butcher after this. Shut up. Hey, yo, what? Do not do that. Okay, he's not doing that. He's lying, guys. Oh my goodness. This guy is angry. He said, ha ha. Ah, Tundra, you did it, buddy. You're the cutest horse ever he said well taffy this is a good job there buddy you really pulled through them i'm gonna say yeah and what happened to juliet or whatever her name is her horse got injured oh right off the line oh my goodness <laughs> didn't take it somewhere well, that makes sense i'm gonna say well thank you for training me mr leo it's much appreciated and thank you tundra for being the best horse ever he said glad you won well boys if you enjoyed that video leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new and i will see you boys in the next one. Peace.